All right. Hey everyone, welcome to Splice Studio. This is Splice. Um, I'm just doing this quick uh, broadcast here so that you all can see how it is I have my uh, custom name list that I have in my XCOM videos so that you can do it too in the future. Um, this is assuming that you're playing on Steam, so thus on a computer. So let's just dive right into it. Um, first things first, you're going to want uh, to open your Windows Explorer and go to whatever drive you have your Steam folder on. In my case, my E drive. Oh, let me switch this scene. There we go, so you can see what I can see. So, into my E drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now, this will change depending upon if you are playing XCOM Enemy Unknown or XCOM Enemy Within. If you're playing Enemy Unknown, you then click XCOM Game, Config, and the file you're looking for is default name list. Go back. For those of you playing XCOM Enemy Unknown, you're going to click click XEW, XCOM Game, Config, and again, the file you want is default name list. Um, you need a specific type of program in order to edit this, but it's a really light program. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. It's called Notepad++. Um, you can download it. Great program. I, I love it myself. Um, it opens up these uh, INI files just fine. Um, so this is what you'll see if I if you open up your INI file in Notepad++. Um, you'll notice my this is already a different name list than the default one because I've already edited mine. But uh, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see uh, hyphens, uh, M underscore AIR, and this is, it does America first, American male first names. If you scroll further down, we get to the female first names and then the last names. So it goes through and it just has everyone broken up like this. So I'm going to go back to the top. Um, the way you look at this is each country except for one has three sections. The male first names with the AM describing America. Scroll further down. Female first names, again AM for America. And then your last names since uh, in all but one country last names are you know, gender neutral. So this is where you have to make a decision if you're editing the file. Uh, realize that because most names are gender, most last names are gender neutral, um, it, and you have an issue because whenever you're playing XCOM, when you're in an actual mission, the name above a soldier will be their last name. And so this is an issue with, if you have a bunch of names you want that are going to be gender specific. The way I get about that is I put my gender specific names in the first name and then as you can see here I leave the last names blank and then as soon as I get the soldier into the barracks I just switch out their first and last names and you know that that's fine that's it's not a ton of work for me if you don't care about the names being gender specific then by all means just just do the last names and leave the the first names blank in each one so the way you add someone, uh, in this case, I'm going to do one male, one female name. Uh, let's see, we'll be doing, uh, all right. So in the male names, I'm going to scroll to the very last of the male names in America. All right, here. So you obviously just copy the first names. I'm adding the name Death by Toast. Uh, or sorry, you can you can do spaces. Um, the other thing, just so you know, uh, in the default names, the way it'll show up is each name will be in quotation marks. It doesn't matter if they're in quotation marks or not. It, it literally does not matter. So death by toast is added in the first names, and in the for the female first names, I'm adding Athena. Boom, just like that. So now whenever it's rolling for an American, it's going to look at its gender first and pull up, boom, all the first names it can pull from. And so you're, you, the thing you're gonna have to do, and this is a bit tedious, but it's just the way it goes, you're going to have to, in each country, change that. Now there's one country that can uh, throw you off if you, uh, if you aren't careful, and that's gonna be Russia, uh, which is the second country you'll see here. Uh, the reason for this is Russia, um, kind of cool, they actually have 
their last names being gender specific, depending upon if you're male or female, your last name changes. It has a root and then uh, a suffix on the end that denotes your gender. So Russia actually, if you have to just switch it up so that the male, it's male last names and female last names and you leave the first names blank. So in this case, I scroll down, look for the last of the males. There it is. Death by toast. Let's scroll down. There's the female last names. Athena. And it's literally that simple. You save it. You go play XCOM, and it should have all these new names for you when you start up your new thing. The uh, the one thing to be aware of is if you have an error, and it's typically country specific somewhere, you might find you end up with a country that, uh, say, just always gives you, uh, you know, last names. If it was rolling on the Russian name table, or not, it's a bad example. If you're Russian on, say, the Polish name table, I have that issue for whatever reason. Poland, even though I've left the name blank for the last names, it always gives them a Polish last name regardless. But uh, that I don't know if that's Poland specific, um, just because Poland is a country they added in an enemy within. But uh, just be aware that you, if you start to notice that, like you got a soldier from Mexico and the Mexican soldier, you know, isn't pulling from your name table, realize you probably have an error somewhere on the name table you created, and you need to go back, find that error, or and start all over. But otherwise, it's a great way to add this all in and to have uh, people you know or people you like or celebrities or people from shows, whatever, from your your favorite slices of life in your XCOM games. That's it. I'm Splice. Have fun.